In this video, I'm going to share with you five products that are currently amongst my favorites that I've been using almost every day that I took with me in my recent trip to Portugal and that I used to create this easy, quick makeup look. Hi, my name is Merisa. Thank you for coming to my channel where we talk about everything beauty and lifestyle focusing on over 50 issues. I have to admit that I've been quite lazy with my makeup in the last two to three weeks and I have worn basically always the same. A very easy, quick and versatile look that can be dialed down or dialed up depending on my mood, the time of the day and what I'm wearing. So now, for instance, I have the classic pillow top from Charlotte Tilbury and I think this look is entirely day and work appropriate. I can go for a warmer shade on my lips and now I'm using Kitten Mischief from Lisa Eldridge or I can go for a more terracotta red to match my poncho which immediately makes the look more glam, night and party appropriate. And that was achieved without changing anything on my face, neither eyeshadow nor blush. And one of the main reasons for this versatility is of course the eye look and I achieve it by using the Natasha Denona Face Glam Palette. I've been using this one non-stop since I got it and as I said in a previous video I really 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 love it and I totally recommend it for several reasons. The first is of course the quality of the products, both eye and face products. They are extremely pigmented but they blend beautifully. The second reason is that the three matte eyeshadows are different enough for us to see their effect but they are not as different to make a little bit more hard to blend one into the other. Another reason for the versatility is that although these eyeshadow shades are pretty close to neutral, they are more leaning on the warm side and so they go well with cooler or warmer lipstick shades and blushes. I have been basically using the transition and the crease shade when I want a more day appropriate look with the smoke only on the lashes and I combine it with the highlighter on the center of my eyelid because the highlighter provides a shimmer that is very flattering between metallic and the satin eyeshadow. If I want a more glam eye look, I use the matte darker eyeshadow, not only on the lashes but also on the outside corner and I apply then the metallic ones which are very powerful metallics. Normally this one, the lighter one, on the inside corner and the more pinkish close to the smoke matte eyeshadow. I really love the shade of the highlighter and I like the formula as well even on my mature skin. So this is my first face palette from which I can use all the products. My second product is new to me, although not new on the market. I got it following the recommendation of Stephanie Marie, Ellie Glines and my good friend here on YouTube, Lisa Monique Beauty. And it's the Bare Minerals Complexion, Complexion Rescue Tinted Hydrating Gel Cream. What a mouthful! And I have it in the shade Buttercream 03. And what caught my attention in this product is that, unlike the majority of the tinted moisturizers, the sunscreen in it is a 100% physical sunscreen and not a mixture of chemical or a 100% chemical sunscreen. And because I have a sensitive skin, I prefer it like this. I have to say that I really would like all brands to produce tinted moisturizers without sunscreen. We all know that the sunscreen that is in it is not enough to provide us with protection. We always have to apply before this one a proper sunscreen. So it's layering sunscreen on sunscreen and we don't get more protection on account of it. So it's just increasing the amount of product that you are layering on your face. But that said, I think that this one, despite being a little bit more sick because it has a physical sunscreen in it, it goes beautifully well into the face. It sinks in 
and we get a very skin-like finish applying directly this product on your face. If we apply it on top of a sunscreen, like for instance the Alta MD UV elements, it will blend beautifully, it will sink into the skin, but we will feel that extra layer, that extra thickness of products on your face. For that reason, with this product, I prefer this sunscreen, the Neo Strata Defend, because it has I think the most liquidy and thin consistency of all the sunscreens that I use. The only downside on this one is that it leaves a white cast, so unfortunately it's not the most appropriate for darker skin tones. But on me, I really like this combination. My third product is this new concealer that I've been wearing and testing, and this is the number seven Lift and Luminate Triple Action serum concealer and I found that this product is a very good wall rounder. It's hydrating but not as liquidy and as hydrating as for instance the Armani Power Fabric or even the Kosas and one of the reasons for it I think it's because the, the coverage of this concealer is rather good. It's a powerful one and that is why I'm saying that it's a very good all-rounder. It's not the most crease-proof concealer that I have in my collection, but being careful with the quantity of product that we apply and then pat it well into our under-eye area, it's really quite crease-resistant without having to powder it afterwards. Number seven claims that this concealer has full coverage I think it has a medium high with a radiant finish and I've recently published a video with my current favorite concealers for mature over 50 skin. I've linked it here on the cards and below on the description of this video so check it out to see my favorite concealers from light to really high coverage ones and I think this one it's a very good one. It doesn't reach my top five, but it's definitely close. Kosas was kind enough to send me a handful of products in PR and I would like to take this opportunity to thank them because it really allowed me to discover very good products that I have been using non-stop, including these two. And these are their, please forgive me, their Brow Pop Dual Action Defining Pencil and the hair brow and these two are definitely two of my best discoveries in this year and again I've been using them non-stop. So the pencil is a typical pencil that has a spoolie on one hand, a very nice spoolie, firm, just like the way I like them because I really like to comb and push my brow hairs upwards and the pencil is like an oval rectangular shape, a thin one, which is creamy but not so waxy that we get product all over the place. It has just the right consistency. I like to apply it in the middle of my brows to make them appear fuller and with more hairs and then I apply the hair brow and this is, between these two, this is my favorite one because the majority of the tinted gels that I have tried in the past, they really don't have a good hold of the hairs. I only use a pencil and then the 24-hour brow setter from Benefit. But this product has simultaneously the tint. It has fibers to increase the volume of the brows and I find that the amount of fibers in it is just the right one to give volume without making the product too thick that we get all over the place when we apply and the hold is very very good. I applied this product on my brows which are quite thick and heavy and they stay in place the entire day. So this is definitely my current holy grail for my brows. And my last product is a blush, a cream blush to be more precise, and it's the one that I've been using non-stop together with the blush that is included on the face palette from Natasha Denona. I alternate between this one when I want to go for a warmer shade 
and this one from Honest Beauty. As you can see, this is a beautiful berry shade which I can apply heavily to achieve a berry shade or I can apply very lightly just tapping carefully with my finger and blend it to get a very nice flush of pink on my face and I have to say that I'm really really impressed with this cream blush from Honest Beauty in here in UK I got it from Cult Beauty it's extremely pigmented, it blends very well, very easily. I apply it only with my fingers. It has emolliency, but not that much that the skin gets too radiant, but still has that nice creamy feel to it. And of course, this cream blush from Natasha Denona is beautiful and Amongst all the formulas from cream blushes that she has given us, I think that this one is the best one until now. It's very different from the one on Honest Beauty. It's drier and it doesn't look so luminous on the skin. It's more of a cream to powder formula, but it blends beautifully. We can build it up to a very intense color and it doesn't look dry at all, it just melts into the skin. I'm really in love with this formula. I really like the pigmentation and the way it blends into the skin. And I'm really tempted to get another one, a different shade, perhaps a nice corally one. I hope you have enjoyed this makeup look and you find it as versatile as I do. Tell me below in the comments if you would use it yourself and if you have tried any of these products and you like them. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Thank you so much for the time that you have just spent with me and until next time, bye! The first product I would like to share with you is this Bare Minerals The first product I would like to share with you is this Bare Minerals, Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue Tinted Hydrating Cream. <laughs> so now, for instance, I have the classic Pillow Talk from Charlotte Tilbury. So, for instance, now I have the classic pillow talk from Charlotte. Ah, the. What's that for you, Mama? Thank you.